much, Dr. Dean. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. And thank you to Medvasuti for also organizing such an important uh, conversation today. And I think that's how we should try and treat this uh, more as a conversation and an interaction. It would be really wonderful if all of you who are attending the webinar could share your thoughts, could share your questions, because that would make it far more interactive and relevant to uh, the settings of which you are a part. Uh, see, in fact, just before we were starting, I was talking to Dr. Dean as well, and um, I was sharing with him how mental health has become something uh, which is very important and uh, very, very integral. More and more people are recognizing the ways in which the mental health and well-being of individuals needs to be supported. And uh, during this past uh, more than a year and a half now, almost going on to two years in this pandemic, everyone has uh, realized that no one is invulnerable. There are multiple situations which can compromise our state of well-being and which can directly affect the ways in which we are functioning, whether it is in our own personal spaces, in our work, whether it is in performing the kind of roles and responsibilities that we have, or it is to ensure that we are being able to be productive in the ways that we need to be. Um, it can impact your sleep, it can impact your moods, it can impact the ways in which you need to keep functioning in order to maintain your life, your lifestyle. And I think what's become even more critically important, uh, especially during this pandemic yet again, is the recognition that uh, there is a strong need to keep focusing on how mental health, how psychology is looked at even within healthcare. Over a period of time, um, we have increasingly recognized that there is a need to look at how people who come into the healthcare system for varying of uh, the physical health related issues are also very much impacted in terms of their mental well being as well. And there is a strong uh, correlation that exists with uh, between the prevention of physical health related illnesses, between the compliance of mental health related illness treatment, uh, of physical health related illness treatments as well, and with mental health um, as well. There is a strong role that we have seen is being played uh, or can be played by mental health professionals in ensuring that the recovery from physical illnesses is facilitated. People are being able to recuperate. Uh, they're being able to uh, stay uh, or maintain their sense of optimism, their positivity, their hopefulness, especially when they go through significant physical challenges. Um, this is particularly seen in the context of young people. And we also realize more and more that there are certain chronic care conditions which are absolutely facilitated when you look at integrating mental health care with them. This is broadly what we are going to be talking about today, the varying spaces in which mental health can and does need to in, uh, come into the mainstream spaces and why is it that this is something which is very important. So um, like I was saying, what we have noticed over a period of time, and there is enough research and evidence which says that recovery from physical health-related conditions is often facilitated when people are provided with the right kind of mental health support. This kind of support is dedicated usually towards three or four aspects. You're looking at helping people develop an understanding of what within their lives or lifestyles is contributing towards um, the maintenance of, say, stress or stressful factors and how it is compromising their abilities to be able to cope effectively. You're looking at helping them develop an understanding of how they need to take care of aspects which prevent them from necessarily complying to the kind of treatment that is required for their recovery from physical health related conditions. And when you're also working with patients who have medical health related issues, you're looking at developing the right kind of support systems around them because families, especially within the Indian context, tend to play a very, very significant role in how individuals tend to recover from physical health conditions as well. The kind of support or support system that is available can be very crucial. And the role of mental health professionals can be very significant in ensuring that the kind of support is available to a patient during their recovery process or when a patient is going to be taking some time, then ensuring that the families have the right kind of support system in place as well for themselves to be able to talk about, share what their anxieties are, what their concerns are, and to be able to manage their own emotional functioning in order to ensure that it is not impacting the individual who is going through the recovery process and that they're being able to take care of their own concerns during this period of time. 
for any individual who goes through a physical health related concern regardless of what age they are at regardless of what stage they are at it tends to impact them in significant ways it takes away from your own belief systems about who you are and how well you are functioning and it can impact the sense of self of an individual and which is where mental health can come into play and the role of psychologists comes into play where people are where mental health professionals are able to step in and help